everyone today i will show you how to make a chapati for which you will need our ever health high protein low carb atta weak warm water and some oil firstly let's unbox the flour as you can see that the flour is vacuum packed this helps to preserve the taste and shelf life of the flour for a longer time. Now take a plate and pour enough of quantity of flour to prepare a chapati or a paratha. Now add some lukewarm water to your flour. Keep kneading it for 1 to 2 minutes. This atta is gluten free and is power packed with seeds. The flour once kneaded will not have the suppleness which is usually present in a regular gluten containing atta. So I would recommend you to add a little bit of oil to avoid the flour from sticking onto your hands while kneading. Keep kneading the atta for the next few minutes. If needed, you can wash your hands before making the chapati. Now take a ball of dough. And dust it with some dry flour. Also at this stage, Put your tawa and put it on high flame. Now roll the dough with light hands. Once you're happy with the shape of the chapati, put it on the hot tawa. Once the chapati is half cooked, put the chapati directly onto the flame for puffing. Let me remind you that since the chapati is not made with regular flour, it will not puff much. You can see that your chapati is now ready to eat. If you wish to make a paratha, take small portions of the dough and roll it into layers. If you prefer, you can smear a small amount of oil in between the layers so that they remain separated. Cook it for a minute or two. Once cooked thorough, sprinkle some ghee to get an aromatic paratha. Your paratha is now ready to eat.